Hey everyone, this is the continuation of the previous video. After we've created the lightsaber, it's time to create the lightsaber's blade. Not only with glows, but with all kinds of fun nuances. And the same principles can be implemented into any design that has any glow in it. So, let's begin. In case this is the first video you see, you can go to the previous video, check it out, and also download this PSD for free, okay? We have disabled the effects on the folder. Now let's copy the folder with Ctrl J and merge it to itself. Disable the design folder. Now let's call this one body, make it smaller. Okay, and for this video, let's also rotate the whole canvas clockwise. Now, surely what we need to do first is create the shape of our blade. And this can be done real easy. So a rectangle tool with round corners, surprisingly. Here on the top, we need to have a pointy edge. Of course, let's remove the stroke and enable white color, something like this. On the reference images that we can find of lightsabers, they don't have round tip, they have a pointy tip, okay? And it's time for us to add the effects. So as I said in the beginning, it's very simple, but we don't want to use only the outer glow effect. Even though it looks fine, double click the layer and enable the outer glow and just play a little bit with the parameters. But as you can see, it already kind of looks like a glowing lightsaber, right? We can adjust color, we can make it blue, we can make it purple. But as you can see, it doesn't look good at all. Instead of doing something simple like only the outer glow, let's create a really nice effect for our lightsaber. For this, we will need to give the lightsaber a color. So let's go with the blue color like Cal has in the game. Let's add some effects to it. And instead of going for the outer glow, let's do drop shadow. First drop shadow is going to be this blue tint that's going to spread out of the lightsaber. Also, let's give it the color of the blade that we just did. Now enable the inner glow effects and change its color to white and the blending mode to linear dodge add. You need to select the center so that the inner glow emitted from the center and you need to play with the size and the choke knobs to suit the effect that you are actually looking for. Even though it's already looking much better than just the outer glow effect that we did, we still can make even more enhancements to it to make it look even more realistic. First click D on the keyboard to reset the colors to black and white. Now create a new layer and go to filter, render, clouds. Ctrl T to enable the transform tool. Now scale it down a little bit like so. Ctrl L to enable the levels and now make it really defined in terms of black and white. Make sure that it has contrast. This is what's the most important. Double click this layer and here in the blend if gray you can see that we have these two knobs on black and white and once you move them you see how it starts to make the separation between the dark color and the white color but if you look closely you will see that it's really rough edges and really pixelated so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click alt on the keyboard and click here on this knob and it will split it to two it has much smoother transition between each other now click ok and scale it down even more create a new layer on top of it with Ctrl select both of them and merge them with Ctrl E. Ctrl C to enable the transform tool and with shift just drag it all the way up. Now make sure you have the white color selected as your primary top color and Alt Shift and Backspace will color your layer with the same color. And just align it like so, play with it a little bit, explore the shape, cut it here and there, paste it on the lightsaber and just see what works the best. Now we can make this effect even better by applying some smudge to it. Select the smudge tool from this tool menu and apply some smudges here and there. Here again, explore with the strength. You can do a really uh, subtle changes to it. A strength in the area of 40 makes a change really subtle and the transition smooth. Of course, in comparison, you can make the strength 100 and then it's gonna just, you know, be all over the place. And But maybe this is the effect that you are looking for. So again, Explore the amounts and explore the parameters of all the tools that you are using. Well, you get the point. Duplicate everything. So let's have a green lightsaber. This is gonna be our blue. Select the layer of the lightsaber and right click on it and convert to smart object. Go to this icon here and create a new adjustment layer of hue saturation. We're gonna take this hue knob and we're gonna move it to whatever direction that you want your lightsaber to be. 
So for example, green. So here we have our green lightsaber. Let's make another one red. Of course, let's take this knob and bring it to the red area. Now select all the layers of the blade of the lightsaber and convert to smart object. Now double click this new layer and go to outer glow, select red color, play with its parameters. We just made it even redder. So something like this. Now with the inner glow, now in the inner glow, make the color a little of white yellow. It will just give it some more life to it. Three lightsabers, three colors, and you also will be getting this PSD as well, so that you can, you know, just see how I did it. Don't settle for one outer glow effect, it's boring. Don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. And surely if this is the first video you see on the channel, you need to go and check the lightsaber video right now. The amount of stuff I covered there is just insane. So thanks again, until the next time.